Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another AB video and today we are back with another Assassin's Crown video and today we have Shadow27, the Dynamite Sweat, and then we have Thief who is totally not a showdown main, um, right? Uh, <clears throat> Not much to say about that, but once again, guys, you know the drill. We're going to be going over Assassin's Crown. They're going to be competing, and let's take a look at the rules, and then we'll get right into the matches, just like we always do in these episodes. The rules for Assassin's Crown are simple. My two teammates, along with many others, will compete in a match or competition to see who can get the most kills, and every kill will be worth two points. They will all have random brawlers, and each random brawler will have a specific bonus that will give you extra points if you do it, and this bonus can be obtained every game for three to up to three times. Additionally, every game mode will also have a bonus, so if you manage to do that, you'll also be awarded three points. And if you throw the game on purpose, you will also lose a point. And if you die, a point will also be deducted from your total. However, for every video, we'll also have a golden brawler. And if you get that brawler randomly, you will not be penalized for losing points. So you can just go on, do work. And finally, because we'll have different participants every round, I personally will not be participating, but I will try to steal all of their kills. So it's very, very simple, and you're gonna see how we do it. You're gonna see how it works when we get into this. But for now, I'm gonna put a little uh, cheat sheet up in here, up on here, just to see, uh, to give you a better understanding of how things work. So for every kill, you get two points. For the brawler bonus, you can obtain one to three times, and you get one to three points. And for a game mode bonus, you get three points. If you throw the match, you'll lose a point. If you die, you'll lose a point. And if you get two kills and two shots, you'll also gain three points. Forgot to mention that. And if you get three kills in three shots, you get five points. So it's not that complicated, guys. So I do hope that you understand, and I hope I did not confuse you. But uh, yeah, let's get right into the next two contestants. And if you haven't seen the previous videos, make sure and go watch them. So the golden brawler for today is going to be Spike in honor of my rank 35 push. You guys know we have to use Spike, but let's go ahead and spin it for the first time. Let's see what we're going to end up with. We're going to get Carl. Okay, so Carl is really, really good in the current meta so definitely exciting to do that but taking a look at the second brawler now uh, and guys we haven't we haven't ever gotten the golden brawler but we're gonna get bb here so carl and bb looking like a solid comp bb not too good but um she she can work on some maps and then looking at the last brawler we're gonna be, end up with wait no okay we already got carl <laughs> we can't do that guys so let's see Okay, so we're gonna get Rico, very solid comp. I think we're gonna go, I don't know what we're gonna go, but we'll take a look at the game mode and then I'll tell you guys the bonuses for all of that good stuff. So taking a look at all of the bonuses, guys, we have Carl hit two enemies with a single super, you're gonna get one point, and then BB, you, if you knock back three enemies, uh, for every three that you knock back, it's gonna give you one, of course, you guys know that. And then Rico, we've played Rico a ton on this, on this, uh, on this channel, and honestly, you guys know the bonus, activate Robo Retreat for 30 seconds, or 20 seconds, and then if you do that, you're gonna end up with plus three points, so pretty difficult one to do. As you guys can tell, you get three points for it, but moving on to gem grab, we have kill an enemy with five gems, you're gonna get three points. So with that being said, let's take a look at the first match. Jumping into the first match, guys, we have Shadow as well as Thief, so uh, looking at this one, I don't really know who has the advantage. They're both honestly super good players. We're gonna end up with a match here, um, so hopefully, Hopefully, okay, so we're up against an 8-bit Eriko and a bow. I think I'm in a mid. Uh, that's kind of a kind of a weird mid, but yeah, definitely you don't want any of them to mid. So I think we're up against a bow. Let's okay, yeah, there he is. Um, Shadow's gonna go in on the 8-bit. Um, let's try and just keep our distance here. Rico, not exactly the best mid, but he can work. <laughs> um, uh, we're only at like 700, 800, so not too difficult at all. Hopefully we can get in some bounces. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to try not to die, if I'm being honest. So it looks like both my teammates have really good control. Uh, Shadow might have one knockback. He probably got one right there. Kind of hard to tell. I'm going to go ahead and pop my super and Cheese, or Thief. You can call him Cheese or Thief. That's his uh, old name. But we're going to try to pinch this bow here. Probably one of us is going to end up with a kill. Um, okay, so wait, how long have I had Robo Retreat? Uh, I guess it's definitely going to be 20 seconds. I can I can stay alive, I think. Okay, so we're going to steal that kill from Cheese. <laughs> Looks a bit um, angry or Thief, however you want to say his name. So Shadow's going to pick up a kill there. Very solid. None of them have died yet. So that's honestly something you don't see very much. Yeah, I've definitely gotten 20 seconds at this point. 
so that's pretty solid even though my points don't count i'm just trying to steal their kills but nice to know okay okay thief uh died dying with all of our gems i see how it is <laughs> oh like they just died okay so not looking too good right now um Thief kind of uh, reset our count down there, so kind of unfortunate. I don't think I'm going to count it as a throw, though, because I don't think... Well, it could be a throw. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. We're going to go ahead and try to get this 8-bit. We have to get the bow bounce. Yeah, okay, so I think we're going to lose this match, guys, but it, I, honestly, it wasn't that bad of a match. I think I think my teammates got a few decent points, so we're going to check back in, spin the wheel, see how, they went, how this match went, and yeah, let's go ahead and get the second picks of the next match. Alright, so once again guys, you know the Golden Brawler going to be my boy Spike, and you guys can probably see these stats on the side, I'll see them later, but the first Brawler is going to be Ems, so not too shabby, um, Ems, she's kind of, she's kind of underrated in the meta, I wouldn't say she's bad, but she's definitely not insanely broken, so, okay, so we're gonna get Bo, so Ems and Bo, not the best comp, but once again guys, it, it, it doesn't really matter the comp, we can just pick a game mode that they're good in. So we're gonna need M's, Bow, and Sprout. We might play Gem Grab, I'm not sure, but we'll check back in. It might be Bounty or Gem Grab, not too sure, but with that being said, let's take a look at the second match and its bonuses. So the bonuses are Sprout, M's, and Bow. Let's go over each one of them. Sprout, you guys know, you have to trap an enemy for plus three. A uh, really, really funny one. And honestly, I don't think any of us have done it. But yeah, moving on, we have M's. You have to slow three enemies at once. And Ducky's personal, um, he, he personally hates that. <laughs> I don't know why we put that in, but bow for every two successful bow mines, it'll give you a plus one. And then for Bravo, you have to score trick shot for plus three. So Thief is on bow, Shadows on Sprout. Let's take a look at the match. So back to looking at the spinny star. Let's see. Okay, we're gonna get a match right here. So you guys can once again see their points on the side. I don't know it. We're up against a B, a Mortis, and a Nani. So I'm gonna lane here. Uh, Thief probably going to be mid. Shadow's gonna take left just because sprouts a lot better on left than right because of the bush so i think we're up against a mort here uh don't really want to engage the mortis but uh shadow he's probably gonna have a really good time on this map um definitely a good sprout map sprout's pretty obnoxious here unless the mortis gets to him so naughty head um off to the left you can hit shadow there so no kills no deaths i don't think we have a bonus either i'm gonna get tagged mortis get away okay nice nice um, Shadow's gonna pop his wall up there. Thief getting a kill. Thief getting two kills. That's gonna be plus four for him. Shadow picking up a kill as well. That's plus two. So looking pretty solid. None of them have died. Uh, he, he goes for a trick shot there. Um, can't blame him. Kind of a hard goal to get, especially against a B. B can probably just burst him. So I think Shadow can probably get the kill here. Okay, we're gonna steal it. <laughs> Thief's gonna get a kill there. So Shadow's kind of probably mad about that. And yeah, Thief's gonna pop his gadget. Uh, not quite gonna work. Can we go for a trick shot actually? Oh, let's go. Okay, so trick shot there for plus three. Pretty nice trick shot if I do say so myself on the on the spot trick shot. Thief, good wall break. And why am I mid? I don't like this. Okay, so Mort's gonna go in. I'm gonna gadget him away. Hopefully Shadow can kill him. Okay, Thief's gonna steal the kill. <laughs> Thief be getting all these kill steals. That's supposed to be my job. Thief getting another kill. I'm gonna go down. Uh, Shadow. Oh, okay, Thief. So, uh, that's that's a lot of kills. Okay. Um, pretty interesting. I definitely thought Shadow would have the advantage as Sprouts, but I guess not. So, Mortis going in on Thief. He's gonna die for probably the first or second time. I haven't really been counting, but the B is just bodying Shadow. Shadow's gonna pick up a kill. Go down. We have the ball. Okay, the Mortis is there. Let's just sit it out. Ugh, I might go down here uh okay knock back nice nice kill steal pretty funny uh thief <laughs> definitely not happy about that kill steal shadow gonna pop his sprout gadgets or sprout emote and i think yeah the bees load they can definitely get a kill on the bee thief going off on the nani nani's definitely uh you're definitely gonna have to be Okay, uh, uh, do we count that as a trap? I think I'm gonna count it as a trap. That was kind of annoying because he just, he stopped me from going where I wanted to go, which is steal the kill, but we're gonna go off. Uh, this Nani, okay, Nani's gonna go down. Thief's gonna get it. That's gonna be pretty much GG. Very nice. Oh, Shadow trick shot. Nice. Okay, so plus three for Shadow. That's gonna be a trick shot and good match for Thief as well as Shadow. But that being said, it's time to look at our last game mode. So back at the wheel for a final time, guys. Once again, you guys know Spike is going to be the golden brawler. I hope, I hope at least one day someone gets the golden brawler because none of none of the contestants have gotten it. So we're gonna get Mr. P as a first brawler. Funny choice. Uh, 
looks like we're gonna be doing gem i don't think we can do the other maps but definitely definitely gem is gonna be looking good especially okay cult uh okay uh, maybe we might go bounty then i don't know kind of a hard choice and then the final brawler is going to be mortis okay so definitely definitely a better bounty comp but with that being said i think it's time to look at the next match and its bonuses Okay, yeah, so what am I thinking? We have to play Bound. We already played Gem Grab in the first match, my bad guys. But the Brawler bonus is going to be Mr. P, Cult, as well as Mortis. So Mr. P, you have to kill an enemy with your Porter. A very, very hard one to do, but it is going to be worth a plus three, so it's definitely going to be worth it if I can pull it off. And then we've got Shadow on a Cult. Hit two enemies with one super for plus one. Cult's a very fun Brawler. Definitely think Shadow's going to have fun with it. And finally, for Thief, he's on Mortis, you have to snipe and kill someone with your super when they're out of your basic attack range. So that can be behind a wall, that can be um, like four tiles away, it doesn't really matter, he just has to snipe someone with his super. And then guys, Bounty, finally, you have to end the match with seven stars. So let's take a look at that. So guys, we just found a match jumping into the last match. We're up against a Bow, a Nani, and a Mortis. This is probably the cheese comp and that's, uh, it's, it's actually not that cheesy to be honest. It's pretty OP, but the Mortis is going to go ahead and get that star. I think we do have a good chance because Mr. P somewhat counters it. I, I don't think he counters it that much, but his, uh, his Porter does definitely help. So we're going to go ahead, try to get this Mortis. Mortis is go off, going to go on Shadow. Shadow is going to pick up the kill. Yeah, let's just look to kill this Nani here. Uh, Nani had coming in. We're going to body block it. Good play from us. Thief is going in on the Nani. Okay, he's going to die there. So don't know if that was worth it. We're going to kill the Nani. Steal uh, his kill there. We're going to go down. Kind of unfortunate. And I think our Porter is dead as well. So not looking too, too good. Um, Thief is trying to kill a Puddle right there. So I don't think that Puddle is having fun. But the Mortis is going to almost... Okay, he's going to kill He's gonna kill Thief. I thought he missed with his super there. But fortunately, he did not like that Pawn's uh, Thief right there. Definitely going to want to avoid that Pawn there. So we have our minion there. We're going to buff it. Uh, it's still going to go down. Not looking too good. We're going to take out that Totem. Thief picking up a kill. Nice play from him. Uh, he's probably at... If I were to guess, he's probably at 20 points. Um, I don't know. You guys can probably check on the side. Somewhere around 20 shadow with four stars so good play from shadow he's definitely got a few kills thief gonna die um we are still up by two because i did take out the nani there so do they have totem uh it doesn't look like it okay so looking decent we're gonna try to just stay back knowing thief he's probably gonna go in try to get a kill um <laughs> and then we're gonna be tied just watch him right okay so we're gonna take out that final totem there shadow definitely keeping his oh no mortis okay so now we're down by two unfortunate unfortunate the nani head going in okay nani head's gonna miss unless he tp'd or she tp'd there is it he she i can't even remember but nani going to go in there we're gonna chuck our totem or not our totem our porter come on let's get the time kill come on three okay let's get this bow come on yes okay let's go okay plus three that's gonna be a w gg for that and let's take a look at the final wrap up the final scores of the day so really really fun matches oh that was against my friend uh the bow so fun matches let's jump right into the outro guys hey guys quick side note before we continue i did just want to apologize for the inconsistency because i have been uh season pushing this season i pushed about 6k but yeah guys thank you to shadow thank you to Thief, they both ended up with over 20 points. Thief with 20, Shadow with 25. And I'll put up the leaderboard just so you guys can see how they pair up against every single other player. So pretty good. They didn't end up getting first, but they did end up very, very high on the leaderboard. So I'm going to put up the pictures, guys. And with that being said, remember to like, comment, subscribe, stay ricey. We'll see you guys next video. Peace.